Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now if you want to know how to make tamarind syrup, stay tuned. All the ingredients will be posted in the information box below this video. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay you guys, so what I have here is about 450 grams of fresh tamarind. And this is how they grow. They grow in a pod and the shell is rather soft. You can simply crack them like this. And that's what I'm going to do because I need to remove the pulp. Now let me show you what the seeds look like on the inside. This is what they look like on the inside. And it takes some time to uh, peel these. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these. And I'm going to let you know how much I am left with because I know for a fact that I'm not going to be left with 450 grams of peeled tamarind, but um, I will let you know in a minute. So let me show you one more time. You simply crack them open like this, and then you remove the shell. This is what I'm talking about. So you have to remove the entire shell, and this is what we're going to use to make the syrup with. All right. Now, before I continue, when you cut open the pulp, you will notice that there is a seed inside. It has black seeds or dark brown seeds. But we're not going to eat these. We're simply going to use the pulp. All right. Now, let me go ahead and continue peeling all of these. And I'm going to weigh um, the pulp once I'm done peeling them and I'll let you know how much um, of the pulp I am left with. But I think it's sufficient for one kilogram of sugar. Okay, you guys, so I've just finished peeling the tamarind pots and this is what they look like. Nice, right? Oh yes, it's a beautiful fruit. Now, I have just weighed this and this is about 320 grams of tamarind pulp that I'm gonna work with. And when I make tamarind syrup, I like to use fresh tamarind. I like to peel my own tamarind pots because there is also a lot of flavor in these little veins. When you purchase the store-bought tamarind pulp, there is nothing but, you know, ju just the pulp, not the veins. And there's nothing wrong with it if that's what you want. But, you know, in my, uh, in my cooking, I don't mind using the store-bought tamarind pulp. But when I make syrup, when I make tamarind syrup, I like to use the fresh tamarind, all right? Just an FYI, that is just my personal preference. So, let us continue. Okay, you guys, moving on. In my pot, I have about one kilogram of brown sugar, to which I'm gonna add about 1,300 milliliters of water. Just like so. Now I'm gonna stir this a little bit. And when I make tamarind syrup, I like to use brown sugar because the tamarind pulp is brown and the brown sugar just adds body to the syrup. Now, in my previous video, my Dawit video, I have used white sugar to make the syrup with. And when you use white sugar, your syrup is always going to be clear. Keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with using white sugar to make tamarind syrup with. But um, again, this is another personal preference. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow this to dissolve. And then we're going to bring it to a gentle boil. So my sugar is almost completely dissolved. I am now going to add the tamarind pulp. And we're going to bring this to a gentle boil. See? This is what I'm talking about. So we're going to allow this to continue to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, you guys. So my syrup has been boiling away for a good 12 minutes now. I am going to turn down the flame and I'm going to allow this to continue to simmer for at least 35 minutes. And the reason you want to allow the syrup to continue to simmer for at least 35 minutes, and this is per my mother's recipe of making syrup, um, is because you want all of the fluids, all of the liquids that are trapped in the sugar crystals, you want all of those to be evaporated. If you don't do that, your syrup 
is going to crystallize over time. All right? All right. So let me go ahead and turn down the flame. There we go. Okay, you guys, so my syrup is done. What I'm going to do now, I am going to remove the tamarind pots from the syrup. Just like so. And we're not getting rid of the pulp, you guys. You can eat the pulp as a snack or you can use it to make some cakes or cookies with. All right? All right. We're not wasting anything over here. <laughs> no sorry. All right, you guys. So this is looking good. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to allow the syrup to cool and then I'm going to sift it and finish the preparation. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I have passed my syrup through a sieve and even though I have removed all of the pulp from the pot, there is still some pulp that is collected at the bottom of the pot. So you have to pass the syrup through your sieve. Okay? All right. And just an FYI, if you follow this basic recipe, you guys, you will be able to make your own syrup, whether it's tamarind syrup or pineapple syrup. Just follow this simple recipe and you will be able to make your own syrup. And this is my mom's recipe, by the way. I always use it. I always succeed. So why shouldn't you? So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some citric acid to the syrup and that is going to balance the sweetness of this syrup. Now tamarind itself is somewhat tart, so the citric acid is going to add a very subtle, very delicate flavor to the syrup. I will let you know at the end how much citric acid I have added because I have to taste it in between. You don't want to add too much and you don't want to add too little. All right. Oh boy, this is so thick and it smells delicious. I cannot wait to taste this. Mm -mm -mm. Now up here and in my country for that matter, they also sell something that is called tamarind extract. And you can use that to make your syrup with also, but I find that using fresh tamarind, that's a completely different experience. Okay, you guys, I'm going to add a little bit more of the citric acid and all in all, I have added two teaspoons of citric acid for this amount of sugar and this amount of tamarind. Okay, now let's give it another stir. And like I said, the citric acid is going to balance the sweetness of the syrup and you want to end up with a nice, subtle, tart taste. Let's have another taste test. Just like so. That's it. That's it. This is just perfect. Now let us move on to the final presentation because um, that is why we're all here, right? And there we are, you guys. Isn't this a nice little setup? I think it is. So basically I've given you two videos in one because not only have I shown you how to make the tamarind syrup, I have also shown you how to make candied tamarind or caramelized tamarind. And this right here, this is a snack. You simply suck the pulp from the pits and enjoy. All right. Now let us move on to the big reveal because that's why we're here. And and there we have it, the final presentation. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And I can tell you that this is a very delicious syrup, okay? You should give it a try. And the pulp of the tamarind, don't get rid of it. You can use that to make some cakes or cookies with, all right? All right. Now, if you decide to make your own tamarind syrup as per my recipe or as per my mother's recipe, in fact, let me know how it turned out because I'm always interested in hearing from you. In the meantime, do be well, take care, happy cooking, happy eating. Don't add crazy to the craziness and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.